my dear students, Hanukkah is an appropriate time to ponder the challenge of assimilation. In ancient Judea, many Jewish people were attracted by Greek beliefs and culture. What was the source of the fascination? It was the very fact that the Greek way of life was so foreign, and what is foreign is often seen as exotic and desirable. What we have grown up with is so familiar and routine, making what is imported glamorous and exciting, sophisticated and cosmopolitan. In our own lives, that which is imported takes on a certain cachet, a superior status and prestige over what is homegrown and locally manufactured. As it is with products and goods, so it is with our Jewish identities. So many Jewish people will study languages other than Hebrew, travel to every port and destination but Israel, support every cause but Jewish causes, take any college or adult education course but Jewish studies, read any book but one on a serious Jewish subject, join any institution but a synagogue, and be part of the secular community but not part of the Jewish community. What would the Maccabees think today? They took up arms against those who were eager to jettison their Jewishness and adopt foreign ways. So Hanukkah symbolizes the struggle to hold fast to our way of life against the siren song of the dominant culture. The Maccabees would urge us, as they saw it in their own day, to withstand the lure of that which glitters but is as hollow as Greek culture, and to uphold our Judaism in all of its substance and depth. To this day, nothing has arisen to surpass the beauty and holiness that is inherent in the Torah. Indeed, it is a tree of life to those who hold fast to it. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Shabbat Shalom and a happy Hanukkah.